Hi everyone, today I'm going to be doing a gouache painting of a scene from Spirited Away. Released in 2002, the film Spirited Away, directed by Hayao Miyazaki and illustrated by Studio Ghibli, has been a beacon of light to so many people. I'm going to be recreating one of my favorite parts of the movie for you all. This film follows the story of 10-year-old Chihiro Ogiro as her family decides to move away from their current home. On the journey to their new home, the family stops to explore, and they all end up accidentally entering the Kami world of spirits. The evil witch Yubaba turns Chihiro's parents into pigs, and it becomes Chihiro's duty to find a way to rescue them and escape from the spooky spirit world. The scene I've decided to paint is when Chihiro and her small gang wade through the water to the spirit train station in order to go to Zeniba's house in Swamp Bottom. I love Studio Ghibli so much. This film especially has elements that a person of any age can appreciate, and the life lessons that this 10-year-old girl learns as she toils in finding a job, trusting the right people, and staying true to herself are things that adults should learn as well. One of my biggest takeaways from this film has to do with Chihiro's steadfast motivation throughout her strife. This juxtaposed with the excessive greed of everyone around her, from her parents to the spirits, is incredible. This idea of having proper motivation applies to our everyday lives, especially that of the artist. Being motivated by greed is destructive, addicting, and never brings satisfaction. Though often dismissed, it almost seems like a challenge for a lot of people today to not fall under the grips of greediness. Let's not forget that it's Chihiro's parents' gluttonous greed that gets them all stuck in the tumultuous spirit world in the first place. Let me give you a real-world example of this kind of behavior. Despite not wanting to admit it, sometimes artists equate their worth to the number of likes, comments, subscribers, and shares that they get. They relate the value of their work to numbers on a screen. Being motivated by these ephemeral numbers, they create content that they think will give them the biggest return of investment. There isn't even a cap to it. As the base grows, they continue to desire more and more. It's as if they're investing time and efforts for validation rather than for personal growth. To say you don't care about these statistics is a lie. But what's funny here is that your worth and value as an artist are not evaluated in a number. Rather, in the development of your artistic process, how you've grown with your work, and how you're able to inspire others to do the same. The return of your investments of inspiration, thought, time, effort, and emotion should be personal growth inside you, not the growth of your audience. Granted, being able to reach more people with your work allows you to inspire more people to create, but as you become more secure in your own work and your style, and you begin to achieve your personal goals that you set, you yourself without that go-viral mentality, will be able to bring people to you. I'll also say that from a business standpoint, having a larger audience does help, but achieving that shouldn't be your main driving force. Finding your purpose will take you much further in the long run. The numbers, the money, what does it bring you? That temporary dopamine release will fade faster than the time you took to achieve it. So what's the point? Will you feel satisfied? Doing what other people want is never going to bring you the personal satisfaction in your work that you seek. Artists who constantly create work that their audience will relate to are blissfully ignoring their own desires and what they relate to themselves. It's like a horse wearing blinders. If you spend your life doing what those around you expect, when are you going to sit down and do what you yourself want to do? 
This isn't some big ploy to get you to stop caring about the people around you, but rather an argument for you to reevaluate your purpose and reason for doing something in the first place. Letting go of the seemingly tempting material and superficial prospects is hard, but you have to do it. In the bathhouse of the film, all of the workers are mind-washed by the money that the no-face spirit hands out, but clearly Chihiro can care less because she has a true motive that's eons more important than this chump change. She knew she had bigger things to worry about. This is how we should be thinking as well. When we remove the blinders and start to realize the true purpose of what we're doing, we start to create with more conviction and passion. The same way she isn't distracted or sidetracked, we should realize how temporal some of the things in our lives are. It'll be much easier to produce work that resonates with you and actually means something to you. When Chihiro ignores the no-face spirit's money, that was when he began to realize how she, unlike the workers, wasn't heartless and greedy. This is why he later joins her when she embarks on her potentially dangerous journey via the spirit train. Her purpose and motivations brought positivity into her life from realms she didn't even expect. She's unapologetically herself, and that's why time and time again the characters of this film are drawn to her. If you haven't seen this film before, I highly recommend that you do, and I hope that you apply some of the lessons in this movie to your life. I hope you enjoyed watching me paint this scene. Let me know in the comments if you think I should do more. I'd love to. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. Did you notice I've been lost? Staying up to the break of dawn Hoping that you show a little warmth But you know I feel the coldest When I'm wrapped around your finger Did you notice that you put me through the wrinkle When you said that you need the solace That I can't offer you I found the light in all this Something to get me through Now every day is a challenge Top down, blow a smoke out It's not good for my balance It sounds great, but I'm burnt out Cause now the drugs aren't working I've taken all I can But my heart's still hurting This can't be all I am Cause leaving me so lonely Only left me half a man Now the highs aren't worth it The drugs aren't working did you notice when I passed you yesterday that I was frozen? Thinking, flashing back, I can't live in the moment. My heart's still in the past, but we ain't spoken. Since you left me broken when you said that you need the solace that I can't offer you I found the light in all this, something to get me through Now every day is a challenge, top down blow a smoke out It's not good for my balance, it sounds great when I'm burnt out Cause now the drugs aren't working, I've taken all I can But my heart's still hurting this can't be all I am Cause leaving me so lonely Only left me half a man Now the highs aren't worth it The drugs